updates from the Free Republic. Note. The following is an email newsletter reposted here in podcast and video format. To subscribe, just visit libertynerdattack.com forward slash email. Hello from the Free Republic. My apologies for the lack of content and communication the past month. Uh, spring and summer brought on lots in the physical realm, as was expected, uh, but it's been a bit overwhelming to say the least. We've been making great progress in many areas, uh, the rabbits and gardens to name a couple, but have been dealing with some slightly disappointing setbacks simultaneously. Anyway, I want to take a moment and provide some updates on happenings here at Veritas Pasnia, the good and the bad. Exciting news regarding our Department of Health and Wellness. I'll give you some information on upcoming events at the Free Republic and uh, maybe a couple uh, miscellaneous items, but uh, we'll see. Number one, Brown's Guess, the AquaCure and the Pasnia Department of Health and Wellness. We received our first AquaCure Aqua commission from George, uh, $500 to the Pasnia Department of Health and Wellness, uh, with a couple additional commissions coming next month. I'd like to thank George again for his generosity, not just for the $500 commission, but for knocking $500 off for anyone uh, who uses the coupon code VONU. Uh, like us, his motivations are certainly not mediums of exchange, uh, but rather health liberation and empowerment. And what an honor it is to work with him. That said, well, we have some ideas. We aren't exactly sure what the next best investment is for our wellness sitter. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please do let us know. On a related note, Gillar and I have sparked the curiosity of a couple of Pasnians to look more into George's various fuel saver kits, and uh, even the potential use of on-demand hydrogen for fuel. The goal is cheap fuel saver kits available for installation here at Veritas uh, for traveling van nomads, and uh, maybe soon foregoing the use of fossil fuels with an on-demand hydrogen system. But even van nomads drop the largest expense in the survival society, uh, mortgage, rent, etc. But typically the fuel costs rise a lot, uh, especially in today's fraudulent age. They don't need to though. Stay tuned for more. Number two, Vanu Fest 3 update and next event reminder. Vanu Fest 3 are now yearly. Week-long gathering of liberation begins in just over four months. September 26th to October 3rd, and it's definitely not your typical freedom festival. Vetted self-liberators and Pazdians will be treated to a serene week in our Church of Self-Liberation, uh, our nature sanctuary here at Veritas. Activities could potentially include hiking, mushroom foraging, swimming, and fishing. We're also hoping to have some form of entertainment for a night or two, maybe some second round comedy, music, or something similar, uh, in addition to special workshops for interested parties. Brian Easterday, a Vedic astrologer and homesteader, has already offered to do one on the intersection of both of these related fields. Uh, someone deeply interested in bio biodynamic farming methods and spagyrics. I'm extremely excited for this one. Surely more details to come. Number three, uh, overall Pasnia update. To start with the positives, over the past few months we've had three new baby lambs, uh, one new baby goat, and uh, our first set of baby rabbits. Uh, the latter population is about to explode, uh, much to Naomi's satisfaction since it will be her primary food supply. We already have a local processor interested in the rabbits, and the local health food store probably would be too. Uh, it should be another good potential avenue for fundraising, and of course, food self-sufficiency. We also got the bird port built, uh, what I'm calling the Bird Shanty 2.0, a converted carport. And uh, well, it's great to have the birds out of the front yard, the uh, new installation means uh, we have had to have the raccoons field tested security a handful of times uh, the past week. And uh, needless to say, we, we've lost a lot of birds. But uh, on the upside, once it becomes bird knocks, uh, we'll be able to greatly expand uh, the operation. Further, the Bird Shanty 1.0 area has been converted to the main garden. With all that bird fertilizer and organic soil, Aura is sure to, sure to turn out some high-quality garden stuffs. That's uh, basically it for now, but uh, we can go more in-depth with any self-liberators who make it out for the next rapidly approaching Volunteerism Day weekend gathering. Uh, those days are May 26th uh, to May 30th. Again, Vanu Fest is September, September 26th to October 3rd, and uh, our upcoming Volunteerism Day weekend gathering, May 26th to May 30th, just in a few short days. Uh, but yeah, please do reach out if you need help getting vetted or are in search of more information. Number four, Bitcoin privacy updates. Finally, I want to take a moment to plug the incredibly liberating nature of the ghost phone and uh, one critically important amazing thing that it enables. That is Samurai Wallet, a privacy-focused Bitcoin wallet that also operates a non-custodial Bitcoin uh, coin joint coordinator. The wallet itself comes with some amazing features, such as a paynim, a way to send Bitcoin to an easily memorized pseudonym, peer-to-peer uh, -peer coin joins, and uh, more that I haven't had a chance to try yet. And if you'd like to try out uh, Samurai Paynim, um, my Paynim is uh, plus Rapid Truth 58C. Then there's Whirlpool, their coin join pool, where in the past transaction history of Bitcoin inputs uh, and transactions are broken, and the immutability restored or strengthened, however you like to look at it. 
To put it another way, imagine a hundred individuals handing their serialized gold bars to a smelter and getting back a fresh gold bar, only without having to turn over possession of the gold. That's essentially a non-custodial Bitcoin coin join. Also, keep a lookout for a coming Agora's Bitcoin guide, uh, authored by our, by our friend Alex Dishinger uh, at Tucson Bitcoin on Twitter. Uh, herein, he will lay out the privacy and financial independence advantages of home mining, buying Bitcoin peer-to-peer and -peer uh, no KYC, peer-to-peer -peer hardware sales, community-based power generation, uh, and more. Despite being in Bitcoin for coming up on, I guess it's been seven years now, I've made a few crucially, crucially important connections and layers of overstanding uh, in the past 12 months. Uh, he, he does a good job of pointing out some of those things, especially in terms of uh, energy and mining. In this increasingly technological and surveilled world, tools like the Ghost Phone and Samurai Wallet will soon be necessities and not just options. They already are necessities, though, if you're really paying attention. And as the quote goes, a rising tide raises all boats. Every individual who steps up their security culture makes it that much more difficult for those looking to eliminate the private sphere. Encrypt everything. Run a two-op VPN, or maybe maybe better, VPN over Tor. Coin join all the fucking Bitcoin. And liberate yourself from the coercers and death cult programmers in every sphere, physical, digital, mental, and spiritual. Settle for nothing less. Thank you so much for your time, and always remember, Vanu is yours for the making, and the second realm is yours for the building. Yours in liberation, Shane, Rayo2. Wellness coordinator of the Free Republic of Pasnias, Department of Health and Wellness, and other roles include lead sheep herder, Permaculture Farmer in Training, Lead Astronaut at the Pazian Secret Space Program and Freedom Observatory, Prospector at the Pazian Bitcoin Mines, Wordsmith at the Pazian Library, and more titles to come. For more information, please do check out check us out at pazian.com and uh, do consider joining the Second Realm Network that we're building.